Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is a big productivity tip for everyone out there, all you editors who need to do some quick audio settings. These are the top audio keyboard shortcuts in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, the first one has to do with the bracket keys. And some people call these a square bracket keys on a keyboard. They're basically the square bracket keys. And if you look down here in my uh, timeline, I'm using the scroll wheel. I can also open this up and I can see these things in here. These are the audio keyframes, these lines. If you can't see them, click on the wrench and make sure that show audio keyframes are showing. By default, this is the um, audio keyframe, the volume keyframe. And if you go to the badge and right click, you'll see volume selected. You can also look at the pan information, but this is the volume information. And you don't have to come in here with the mouse and move this up and down. You can just use these square bracket keys. So left and right, up, up, up and down. And when you're hitting it, it's 1 dB at a time, up or down. Add the shift key and it's 6 dBs up and down. If you go to the keyboard shortcuts, edit, it's in the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro uh, menu on the Mac, keyboard shortcuts, type in volume, you'll see them right in here. Decrease clip volume um, and decle decrease clip volume many and increase many. You'll notice down at the bottom there's nudge uh, which is basically doing the same thing, except it's it's in different increments, plus one, plus three, minus one, minus three, uh, instead of one and six. But those are the default keyboard shortcuts. Sometimes people just wanna do a quick rough mix or that one's too loud and they don't wanna to have to go and grab things. So as long as that's selected, you can do that. If you select all the clips and hit the same keyboard shortcut, I'm affecting all of the selected clips. So shift select or select forward, uh, very, very easy. All right, the next one is the gain command. And this one also works by selecting one clip or multiple clips. It's incredibly powerful. Let's show you how we, we use this. So I'll click on this clip. Oh, by the way, one really important thing that, that might drive you nuts, if we loop this area here hey and that means everything you hear a certain volume watch what happens when i'm increasing it using those keyboard shortcuts while the timeline's playing like the whole day is playing now i'll play i think as a kid you play and that means everything like the whole day is playing i think as a kid you play so that you hear how that's very quiet I'll raise it to the maximum while it's playing. Is playing. So it does not update. Uh, the volume that you're monitoring doesn't update while you're changing that keyboard shortcut. So you have to stop and you have to play it again. Not a big thing, but in case you're wondering if you're doing something wrong, you're probably not. All right, let's get that back into the middle. And let's talk about the gain command. So with one clip or multiple clips selected, if you tap the G key for gain, G for gain, you'll get an audio dialog box. And you'll notice the first one is set gain to. Uh, so this will tell you what the gain for that clip is. It's also a great way to look at a clip that might have been changed before. Sometimes if you get a bunch of clips and you're wondering why is this clip so loud, Hit the G key, look at this one. If somebody set this to plus 12, plus 12 will show inside there. Ah, you just put minus 12 or put zero in there rather, and it, it will uh, work out right. So if I click OK, no change is happening. If I adjust the gain by a certain value, so if I click on this, now I'm gonna change this to two dB, and you'll notice the set gain to has also changed. And I click OK, you'll see the, my values are raised inside there. So if I hit G again, you'll see that's two. Now I can set that back to zero if I want. Okay. You'll also notice that there's a peak amplitude that's been um, 
recognized for the clip that I have selected. So right away, just hitting G and, and looking at that, Premiere Pro tells you what the, the peak of the maximum amplitude or the maximum volume in that clip. Guess what? If you do this with multiple clips, it will show you the peak amplitude of all of those clips averaged out. Okay, then we've got two other ones in here, normalize. Normalize maximum peaks and normalize all peaks. So every single uh, audio file that you have has peaks and it has valleys and it has maximum peaks. Uh, so if you just look at, at this particular clip, you can see there's a, a peak and there's a peak and there's a peak. So those are the maximum peaks. Now the other, the top two, when you're set to zero, doesn't change in it, but normalizing does change it. So if you set this to normalize max peak to zero, click OK, you'll see it normalizes everything to a max peak of zero. All right. Now that there's also a set pan, but let's go back and look at our keyboard shortcuts. If I type in set pan, you'll see set pan to center, to right, to left. There is no assignment in here. I'm showing you what the possible keyboard shortcuts are. So if you wanted to, if for whatever reason, you quickly pan something to the left or the right or to the center, you can set up a keyboard shortcut. I wanna show you where that will show up. So just like before, on the badge, right click, panner, pan. So this is the, a stereo or a standard track that's stereo moving left and right inside. And I could have a keyboard shortcut to do that. So those are some of the top keyboard shortcuts that are really important to use. They give you a quick edit. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me show you. Everything I've just shown you about the gain control also works over here in the source monitor. So here I am with this music track in here. And you can see it's pretty loud. I'll hit gain. I'll normalize this minus six. Boom. See the whole thing comes down. You can also do that in the project bin too. So if you uh, choose audio gain or press G or go to the clip audio options, audio gain, all of that is the same. The last thing about, about audio gain is there's the idea of a master clip and then other clips that you're using inside the timeline. If you want every single instance of that master clip to have the same audio gain, do it in the project bin and then it will show up everywhere it is in the timeline. All right, Whew. so those are the, the most important keyboard shortcuts. Get you some quick edits. Um, of course, there's lots of other ways to work in Premiere Pro, but a lot of people love those quick keyboard shortcuts to get the audio looking, sounding right. All right, so thanks everyone who's supporting a Video Revealed. We really do appreciate it. Uh, if you notice in the main description we've, or in the discussion, we've now launched a Facebook page so we can have a communication uh, inside there. We really do appreciate your support. And hey, if you're new to Video Revealed, take a little moment, please subscribe. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.